Both pools were built in uh, 1953 and they're a unique design. There's just a handful of these pools still remaining in the country and we happen to have two of those. But both South Pool on the Boise Bench and Lowell Pool off State Street need to be modernized before these pools that serve specific neighborhoods can open again. So really the big, big factors are it's neighborhood based, easy to get to, walkable, bikeable, and it also has some historic and nostalgic significance to our community. Since November, the Parks and Rec Department has been working to get feedback from the public. Around 2,000 people responded to a survey for each pool, and it comes down to two options, both with preliminary costs between four and six million dollars. Either these historic pools can be brought up to code with new plumbing, electrical, mechanical, and making the pools ADA accessible, or the city could demolish them and design a new pool from scratch. So the feedback we've received really has really centered on um, keep the pool as it is, bring all of the uh, code requirements up to uh, current standards, and then get it back open. We met Austin Stallings at Lowell Pool. He showed up after receiving a letter in the mail informing him about the open house because he lives nearby. Intriguing to see the architecture, if it was good or bad. So I wanted to participate. While Austin also chose option one to bring the pool up to code, he seemed more impressed with the process the city has gone through to inform and listen. Stuff like this, I think, keeps the community uh, together and in the same on the same page. At least they're aware of what's going on and stuff like this is good. I'm glad they're doing it. We're really trying to figure out what do people prefer. I learned the nostalgia is real. A teenage girl told me she did her first cannonball at the pool, and several people talked about growing up swimming at these pools. Ultimately, the future of South and Lowell pools will be up to the mayor and city council. Once we complete the final pieces to our engagement process, we'll be doing a report um, to the council, city council with options and corresponding costs. Steve Dent, Auto News 6.